So this poem is a slightly different take, slightly different tip, uh, true story with some other things in between. It's called How I Really Got This Black Eye. Oh. One. No. It wasn't from a stripper in Paris named Lolita stomping me with her seven-inch platform heels. Oh, Josh. That one's under the shirt. It wasn't from LeBron force-feeding me an angry elbow after I dunked on him again. It wasn't funny. Two. Five minutes before my princely face got punched purple, I was imagining the rain. Walking home from the last bar train on a Wednesday, the sky full black, the moon huge and white watching down on everything from the hills. Oakland is a beautiful city, but badge or bare knuckles motherfuckers don't play three. Ah. But for real, it was this uh, one-legged old Russian Oompa Loompa who called my bet that he couldn't jump that high and get me. I lost a bet, four. It was one of me and four of them. One block from my apartment, walking home, I saw them. The oldest couldn't have been past high school, the youngest just bar mitzvah. The one who came up to me first, or actually who came up behind me before I turned around, he looked like my boy Darren back from DC. Big brown eyes, short dreads locked tighter than cuffs, a huge mouth that could as easily turn into a grin as a threat. Yeah. But the cop, light-faced like the moon, who I didn't want to call but did it because I needed to get that laptop back. He didn't ask about those features. Only question he wanted to know, so uh, what race were these guys? Okay, right, and these four black dudes, they were all wearing black hoodies too, right? Right? And just like that, the sky erupted, the moon full, the rain on my window like bullet shells, and I was that Dude, scared to tell my scared girlfriend that yes, sometimes I'm scared to walk around too, sometimes five. Huh. I think I've stopped profiling though. Yesterday I was biking down East 14th, saw this whole car of one-legged Oompa Loompas drive by. I didn't even flinch. More than once. Six. My boy Darren from D.C. isn't my boy no more. He's no one's boy. Just a chalk outline we still picture on the pavement from time to time. Back home for Thanksgiving four losing Redskins seasons ago, we were supposed to watch the big game against the Cowboys together. He was going to clown me for living in Wisconsin. I was going to clown him for living with his moms. But his moms made the best turkey chili of all time, so I could never get him for more than one meal. Right before I was going to come on the metro and come over, she called me on his phone. It's me, Josh, she said. He's gone. No crazy crying. No heavy silence. She just kept repeating it like maybe if I interrupted her, it wouldn't be true anymore. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Seven. And like that, they were gone. They came up on me real quick. Said, give me your stuff. I said, be cool. They weren't. Got me really good on my back and this ear and yes, in this big ass black eye and they were gone. Two minutes tops took my bag but not even my wallet or keys. It was probably their first time. I'm glad we at least lost this virginity together. Eight. Oakland just cut its summer jobs program by 70%. Nine. I didn't live here last year on this block in this small city as much pimp as Panther. They did. They saw. I probably came to their high school last spring. Probably did some poems with Brandon and Issa. Look at me and think, what are these fools going to do for me? See me beneath bright lights, white moon rising like condos in the night sky. They see me. The block's changed. Welcome mat replaced with an eviction notice. Violence or progress? Manifest destiny? Pushing west? Pushing folks out? So you got pushed around a little bit, white boy? Welcome to the neighborhood. Ten. I still don't know what I would say to Lil Darren if I saw him on the street again. Don't know if he would turn that big mouth into a smile or a seven millimeter. 
don't know for both possibilities if I would have an answer for either one. Thank you.